Thank you, Chairman, and uh, good morning. Good morning, everyone. You know, 26 years ago, and 66 days to be precise, I walked into a small office in Markham, Ontario. Uh, that's in Canada. It was my first day and my first proper job as a junior financial analyst. I had my hair cut, my shoes, they were shiny. I was wearing my brand new pastel suit. Olive green, if I remember right. We all had those back in the early 90s. Not a great look, um, but there you go. And I still remember how I felt. I was incredibly proud. I was really excited. The company? It was Aviva. And here I am, still with Aviva, after all those years. I have a different job now, um, in case you hadn't noticed. Another proper job, for sure. Different suit, thank goodness. But I've got those same feelings all over again. And I'm delighted to be here, my first AGM, as your new CEO. My role as CEO is to serve our customers, serve our people. Lots of them are watching right now from offices right across the UK. And I'm also here to serve you, our shareholders. You know, it's been a busy few months for me. I've been out talking to our investors. I've been listening to our brokers and our people, to our partners and to our customers. This morning, I get to listen and learn from you. And it's my chance for you to get to know me hopefully a little bit better as well. I want to tell you why I'm so proud to lead this company. And I want to talk about why I'm so excited about, about our future. So despite this action, accent, I'm actually British. I was born in Scotland and spent my summers here while growing up. It's an absolute honor to be leading one of Britain's oldest businesses and a responsibility I take very much to heart. My other home, of course, is Canada, where I developed my passion for ice hockey. I've been married to my wife nearly as long as I've been with Aviva. We have two great kids. They're amazing, even if I sometimes question their tastes in music. Now, the thing is, I love Aviva. It's part of who I am. In my time, I've worked in every single business unit. I've set foot in every office from Perth to Singapore, with the exception of Eastleigh and Vietnam. And guess what? I'm working on that too. As the chairman said, I know this place inside out and backwards. I know the very best of us. I know our people who go above and beyond for our customers when it matters most. And I've been out with them in the ice storms in Montreal in the early 1990s. I've stood in hip waders in flooded Somerset levels some five or six years ago. And more recently, I've seen farms in France with crops decimated by hail. At these times like these, when the worst happens to our, in our customers' lives, or turned upside down, that's when our people really come into their own, being part of Team Yellow or Team Aviva. I know our partners. The vast majority of our business comes to us through intermediaries, from family-owned brokers to some of the biggest banks. We actually work with five of the six major banks here in the UK. These relationships are critical to our success. You know, in recent years, perhaps we haven't done enough to show that we actually value them as much as we really do. I plan to change that. And I know our potential. We have a tremendous brand. We have a great business. We are financially strong. And I know the dividend is important to you all. It's important to me as well. And the board's decision to move to a progressive dividend means our aim 
is to maintain or grow that dividend over time. All of our strengths are underpinned by the values that make us who we are. And as the chairman said, caring more is central to what we do. You know, a few weeks back, I sat with a team up in York who handle, who handle calls from customers with critical illness claims. And if you've ever needed proof of the power of compassion, then you need look no further. They are not only amazing professionals handling those raw moments with skill and dignity, but they get the little things right too, like sending a teddy or a gift in cases of a claim you know, where young children are involved. They understand that a lot of what we do is about how you make customers feel. That's so incredibly important. I'm going to come back to that in a moment. But look, because I know this company so well, I'd be the first to say we don't always get it right. There are things that we just simply have to change. I know I don't always get it right, and Aviva has made some errors. I'm not blind to our faults, but I can tell you one thing, I'm impatient to fix them. I'm driven by a passion to get better, and I know what's holding us back. I know what stones to actually look under. And there are parts of this business that could be doing better, should be doing better. We're still too complex. You know what? We've been saying that for the past four years. And I'm going to make it my mantra that we're finally going to break the back of this thing. We're not as efficient as we could be. We've not lived up to our potential. I don't even think we've scratched the surface. And we've lacked a proper commercial focus to take full advantage of the opportunities. You know, when I made the pitch for this job to the board behind me, I said we need to focus on the fundamentals. Being a great insurance company is nothing to be ashamed of. And we have it in us to be a great insurance company. I'm incredibly excited about what lies ahead. You know, competition at this level is a game of inches. If we make incremental, continuous improvements in every area, then I'm pretty confident we'll win that competition. That means bringing the rest of the group to the same level as the best of the group. Being great at underwriting and pricing, being great at claims, having tremendous products, and being tremendous also at service and investment performance. That's how you earn customers' trust. Sharing the benefits of our digital innovation through the whole business and for our intermediaries so we can take full commercial advantage of our investments that we've made to date. Being the first choice for partners and intermediaries who are so important to reaching customers and helping grow our great company. We're doing it, just not doing it everywhere yet. The second thing I said to the board is everything depends on how you make customers feel. Not some fancy stat. When they come to us, is it simple to buy our products? Or do they have to answer some 200 questions? When they get their policy, is it 40 pages of jargon? Or does it say just what it's going to do on the tin? When I want to change my investment or put money into my pension, do I get through to someone? Do I get the support I need? Was it easy online? This is not about saying the right thing. This is about our actions. Every interaction with our customers and partners being the right one and the best one. We have to give our customers the best possible 
experience each and every time. And let's face it, we're good in parts. And at our best, I think we're outstanding. But again, we still have a ways to go to get it right each and every day. Now, I'm getting to know all of you. I'm incredibly impatient by nature. I want to change the pace at Aviva. But I also know that making things simple is not always easy. I did not take this job to dodge tough questions when they're needed. And yet, we also have to take the time to get this right. Aviva is too important to me, too important to you, and these decisions are too big to get them wrong. So I'm building my senior team. I'm making sure there are clear accountabilities and that the people closest to our customers have the power to take the right decisions. I'll be speaking to investors next month with an initial update on our direction. And as our thinking evolves, I'll be speaking to them again later in the year on our broader strategy for the organization. I've long believed that insurance is one of the greatest industries there is. And I, for one, am incredibly proud to work in it. There's an integrity to our fundamental purpose, bringing people together to help those who need it. Might not always be sexy, but it's important. It's important to me. It's important to our customers, all 33 million of them. And it's important to society, offering some stability in an uncertain world. Our customers are facing up to some pretty big challenges. We all are. People want to be treated fairly. How are they going to get the service they deserve? You know, a few years ago when I was running our UK general insurance business, I headed up a campaign on behalf of the industry to tackle the epidemic problem of whiplash fraud. I thought it was appalling that fraud has such an impact on honest customers. And I and my team wanted to do something about that. It wasn't easy. But last year, the changes we campaigned for, for over five years, finally became the law of the land. And we've committed to passing those savings on our customers. Today, people are worried about how big businesses are treating their loyal customers with price rises and extra charges. Again, I'm sure you'll agree, simply it isn't right that new customers get a better deal than existing ones. So this year, we led the way. We launched Aviva Plus to begin tackling some of those concerns. You know what, I'm also passionate about how a company like Aviva can lead in other ways, in other areas as well. In areas beyond just our industry. Take diversity, it's incredibly important to me. Ideas like our equal parental leave for dads as well as moms are truly groundbreaking and helping level the playing field. Getting diversity right not only makes us a better place to work, it helps perform better as a business too. Well, let's take climate change, um, one near and dear to my heart. It's really, really simple. I want the planet to be better for my kids, for everyone's kids. The world is failing to deal with a climate crisis right now. I can tell you at Aviva we're doing our bit. We were the first international insurer to be carbon neutral. We've cut our carbon emissions by more than half since 2010. The new solar panels at our site in Norwich are truly amazing when the weather is good. The whole building is entirely powered by the sun. Let's pray for sun in Norwich. Um, we're campaigning to make the world's whole financial system you know, more sustainable too. This simply could not be more important and I certainly couldn't be more proud to be part of it. By responding to a changing world, delivering what customers need, doing the little things right, then we will grow and prosper. And that means better returns for you, our shareholders, 
And I want to thank you for all being part, part of Aviva, by owning a stake, by being a customer, and playing your part to make us stronger. I've loved the last 26 years, and I truly know the best is yet to come. I look forward to speaking to as many of you as I can after the meeting. In the meantime, thank you very much.